ChapVest is one of the most original programs we've ever created, and it's proprietary to Chapwood Investments. And you can go to our website anonymously and plug in your personal information. We don't ask for any of your private information, so, so we don't know who you are, but we hope that you can go to this and find out if what you have is what you need. And it's a very, very simple program. Let me show you how it works. The first thing we start off with is the eight metrics. Remember, your variance drag fan of tax must be 0.8 or lower. And also, you want to make sure that your probability of a loss over the next 12 months is 15% or less. And you want as low amount of money at risk as possible. All I ask for is what year you were born. So in this hypothetical situation, let's say someone was born in 1957. I have to mute slide myself is each time. We start the year at 2021. And the total amount of money invested, again, I put $3 million. Then you put in your household income. So let's say this hypothetical person has $120,000 of income is going to make that for the next four years. And let's say they get a 3% raise. Um, then your monthly mortgage. So let's put down $5,000. And I'm going to make this last for 30 years. I want your expenses to be as ugly as possible. And let's say you spend $8,000 a month, and this is going to be adjusted for your cost of living increase. And I'll get to that in a moment. And let's say you have one time a year, you have to write checks. And let's say you're doing that for the next 30 years, put in a tax bracket of 32% and your annual cost of living increase will put at 6%. And then you now know what you need to make in order to not lose purchasing power. It's 8.55%. Now the question is, and what you must answer is, how much downside can you handle in the next 12 months? So if you open up your statement and your $3 million was down a certain amount, what is that dollar amount? Not percentage, but let's go ahead and put in 225,000. So I hit save. And now we know what you need to make. And this is the first time most people know what they need to make in order to not lose purchasing power. And that's after taxes and expenses. <clears throat> that's 8.55%, standard deviation of 6.91, a variance drag phantom tax of 0.8, a sharp ratio of one, probability of any loss 10.79, and the amount of money at risk is 225000 and you're able to handle a, a variance between 22.36 and minus 5.26. You now know what you need to make. So now let's go into this. And On this slide, you put in what you currently have. So let's say that you currently have corporate bonds of 10%, and let's say you have high-yield bonds of 5 and hypothetically, let's say you have 5% in international fixed income. And don't worry about the brand name of your funds. Um, just put in the category. So if you have Fidelity large cap growth, just put in large cap growth because most funds move and perform about the same in the same universe. So most mid cap funds are going to perform about the same as any other mid cap fund. Most S&P funds are going to perform about the same. So we put in what you currently have, and let's say you had some in utilities. And this is a very, very typical retail portfolio. This is what most retail portfolios look like. And we hit save. And now you can see. Well, here it is. What you currently have and what you need. What you have is a 7.5% historical rate of return with a standard deviation of 13, but you needed an 8.55 and a standard deviation of 6.91. Look at the probability of any loss in the next 12 months. What you need is a 10.79. What you have is almost 30%. And out of $3 million, you're set up to possibly lose 732000 and the variance drag phantom tax is way over one and a half percent. This is not a very good portfolio. 
So what we do at this point is encourage you to get a hold of us and we can then optimize the portfolio for you and we can also calculate your chip score. So thank you very much for taking a look at this and I encourage you to do this.